Have you ever actually met Ben Eastwood or spent any time with him? No, he's on my bucket list. That and Robert Robert Plant. I almost said Robert Palmer. <laughs> no, 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 Robert Plant. Well, it was either Clint Eastwood or Dudley Moore, okay? So I kind of went for what I know. You know, it, it certainly wasn't the Republican thing because I think a lot of people really took the piss out of him and I thought it was great impromptu. He just did that skit on, on right there at the spot because he didn't know what he was going to say. And, and regardless, um, that or the mayor of Carmel or Dirty Harry, I liked the outlaw Josie Wales, man. I like Fistful of Dollars. I like Blondie and, and the Good, Bad, and the Ugly. That's the Clint I like. The one that looks at you and spits on your head right before he shoots you. <laughs> you know? And the funniest thing was I found out those little cigars that he smokes, he doesn't even smoke, those are just a prop. And I was thinking, damn, he could have fooled me. I thought he was smoking those things, man. There's actually two. Uh, Black as Crow was the first one I wrote about it, but it was too gnarly, so I shelved it. And then, I forget to remember, it's, it's not about the disease so much, because it's a double entendre. It could be somebody who's in a relationship and the girl just doesn't want to remember the guy. The cool thing about it is that, you know, it's, it's open to interpretation. And um, my mother-in-law has it. It's it's sad. And the, the cool thing was, as soon as we found out about it, I, I had reached out to our fans and I said, man, anybody that has this disease, anybody whose family has been touched by it, please let us know. We got some information of a doctor in Arizona. And, and uh, I, I haven't seen it with my own two eyes, but we have an EMT that goes there and, and works with her every day. And, and by the grace of God and our fans' support, we were able to afford to take care of you know our, our our ma matriarch there, and um, so we uh, um, heard a couple days ago that she's really responding, and, and I'm excited for a couple reasons. One, because you know, the fans are helping, and, and two, that we found this, that we can, you know, it, if it is working, then, you know, I, I want everybody else to know about it. Here's the whole thing with my faith. It's a private thing, and people have made a really big deal about this. I've never pushed it on anybody, and I really don't talk a lot about it. You know, in the songs, yeah, I talk about biblical stuff in the songs because I've been doing that ever since the beginning. I mean, you know, looking down the cross is a song about Jesus, peace sells, but who's buying the first sentence? I say, what do you mean I don't believe in God? I talk to him every day. So it's not something new. Um, you know, before I was baptized as a Lutheran, my mom was Jewish. I became a Jehovah's Witness when I was seven. I got into witchcraft after that and, and all that kind of stuff just to rebel because, you know, I didn't, didn't, didn't want to be a Christian, didn't want to be a Jehovah's Witness, didn't want to be anything, wanted to be a rock star, you know, and, and because of the way that they portrayed people in the, in the world, you know, people that played music, I thought that, you know, that kind of bad lifestyle went hand in hand with playing music. It doesn't. I mean, a lot of times they look like they go together, but it's kind of like, you know, burger with cheese or no cheese. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. You have an option. You know, I, I went that route because I thought that, you know, it was going to give me the necessary power I wanted and because I hated the religion that my mom forced on me, I didn't want to have anything to do with religion.